Hello everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today we're going to be working on my African Elephant Diorama. The seed tray pot that this planting is in was sent to me by Angel from Florida, so thanks a lot. The trees in this landscape have been left to grow since the last video, so today I'm going to be going in and doing some pruning to tidy them up. The trees in this planting are northern white cedars. Some of them were started from cuttings, like this little one here. This is its second year in this pot. Some of them were collected, like this one here. The large tree in the middle here was donated by Edna, a club member who's passed away now. Today I'm going to trim up these trees. I want to get rid of a lot of these hanging branches, which don't look like African savanna trees. I'm going to start by removing some of these drooping branches. Trim them back to here. I have a lot back here that are still hanging down that I'll get rid of. Shorten this one. Looking a little better. I still want to see these trunks more, so I'm going to remove this branch that's coming in, crossing the trunk here. Like that. There's another one here I can remove. This one can be shortened back to here. That allows us to see this trunk a little more. I may have to reposition this little tree in front so it's not in front of this trunk here. Still have a lot of hanging branches I want to get rid of. Remove this one here. I think I'll take this one right off. This one, cut it back more. And this one also. This will keep these trees a little more compact. They're starting to get a little too spreading. I do want to keep this trunk slightly below this one, so I'm going to have to prune the height off the top of it. So we'll start here. I'll we'll probably go down to this next branch, I think. Let's go right down to here. Now oh, it looks a little better. Kind of steps up in height. I'll get rid of this hanging branch here. Big one coming out the back here, which needs to be shortened. Got a branch here that's growing on the inside of the curve here. Here's that branch here, growing on the inside of a curve. I want to get rid of that. I don't like it in there. I'm going to take it right back flush, like that. That's looking much better. Still got a ways to go, but uh, we'll keep working at it. I may be able to reposition this tree so it's not blocking this trunk so much. So I'm going to try and... It was a cutting also. It's, it's surviving so far. I don't even know if I really need it there. I don't think I do. I think I'm going to take that out. There's the roots on that cutting. This cutting was planted last year, so it's done quite well. I can replant that somewhere. I may even put it in the planting, but just further over. So I think that cutting would look good somewhere over here, maybe in the corner right here. So I'll plant that now. I'll dig out the corner here, and we can get this little tree planted. Take the moss off. It's mostly sand in this area, so it should grow really well. I'll spread the roots out. They go quite far in areas. And we'll plant it. Now we'll put our moss and our sand back there. Now that should grow quite quite nicely. I'll continue pruning these trees to get a strong horizontal look to the foliage on the tree. So I'll remove some of these inner branches here. Can go like this one. I 
This one can be pruned back shorter. There's a weak branch in here I can just probably pick off, yeah. I'm wondering about this branch here. It, uh, I don't think I need one down low like that. It kind of blocks the view of the tree behind it. So I'm gonna remove that also. So here I go. Yeah, that's cleaning that area up nicely. There's a branch hanging down back here. I can shorten that. There's a big dead branch here that I can trim back shorter. I, actually, I can just take it right off. Like that. That looks better. There's some branches growing here that kind of cross in front of this trunk. So I'm going to remove this lower one. And let's see about the other one. Prune this part off it. And this part. And we'll leave it growing back towards the back there. It should look okay. There's a lot of rough, immature foliage coming in at the back here. Which gives the tree a really rugged look. I think I'll leave that for now. Just going to prune off some of these downward facing tips here. Here. Trying to keep our branches horizontal and compact. I'm going to do some corrective work at the back where this tree is starting to interfere with the largest tree just a little bit. There's some weak branches here. Look like they're kind of shaded out anyway. So I'll remove those one there. Trying to keep all the branches fanning out from the trunk of the trees, making these branches a little more compact. A lot of this foliage you can pinch. You can pinch out the center of it and the tips. Or you can use scissors if you're not worried about the edges browning too much. If it was going into a show I would uh, I'd pinch everything but uh, that's looking pretty good, I think. I'm going to clean up the stub here just to make it flush here. There. So that thing doesn't poke up. And I think that's cleaned this area up quite nicely. I'll be pruning up the main tree next. And I'll be using the same principles. I want everything fanning out from the center of the trunk and all my branches nice and horizontal. So when anything's sticking up, I'll prune back to a horizontal branch. Anything hanging down too low, I'll also prune back to a horizontal branch. I'm filming today in my new outdoor studio. I'll give you a shot of what it looks like from the outside. So here's the bonsai area. We're walking through the paths and over behind the greenhouse, so on the dark side of the greenhouse, is the outdoor studio. Right here. So this is the back of it. And this is it from the front. So I'm not done it yet. I'm going to build a cover for the camera that keeps the wind noise out, keeps the camera protected in case it rains. I'm going to start the top pruning now, keeping everything that fans outwards foliage pointing in. I'm removing. I think I'm going to have to get rid of a large branch here. There we go. It was shading out all the rest here. Trim back some of these long branches at the back here, keeping them compact. I think I'm going to take, there's a large branch sticking up here. 
and there's two branches off horizontal here so I can remove that apex and keep my two horizontal branches so I'll take off that branch sticking straight up like so that'll keep the top of our tree a little flatter doing a little directional pruning to the foliage to keep it growing in the in a good direction so it's not crisscrossing other pieces of foliage that one can be removed it's a little high now there's a branch hanging down here that I think I've got to remove come in and take that off there That looks better. Now you can see this branch structure and below here. There's a shot of the branch structure forming the canopy here. Some more hanging foliage I can get rid of here. So this side I could wire it or I could prune it back. And I think I'm going to prune it back because if I wire it I'll still have these long skinny branches. And I want to build up taper in the tree and movement so I'm going to prune them back here. That looks a lot flatter on the top now. I'm looking at the tree that's behind the elephants now. I'm just doing some light trimming. Getting rid of some of the dead branches. The branches are going in a nice horizontal fashion. It looks quite good actually. So we're just pruning to make the tree compact so it doesn't get too wide and allows it a bit of room to grow so that's about it for pruning the top of the trees and now we'll go down and work on the landscape the landscape's getting an interesting variety of textures and colors and I added some little sedums here however it does have some of this Irish moss growing in it and that stuff gets a really nasty root system in the surface of the soil so I'm gonna have to go in and pick all that out because it just keeps spreading and it's nasty stuff to get out once it gets established the Irish moss gets little white flowers and you can see some of the flower buds just forming here so I definitely want to get rid of it before they flower or it'll just keep spreading more and more of this stuff it looks quite decorative. It, it looks like grass, but uh, it just has a nasty deep root system that'll choke out everything, including moss, and it's really hard to get rid of. So I'm just picking it out with the tweezers and cleaning up the landscape. There's the size of the root on the younger Irish moss. You can see it goes quite deep into the soil, and this is just a young one. Once they get a little more mature, they go down probably this far into the soil and create quite a mat of roots. I've got all the Irish moss removed now and it didn't take too long. It took about uh, 45 minutes picking them all out and most of them came out with the roots because we had had a lot of rain lately and the ground was soft here. So they, they pulled out quite nicely. I think I got almost all of them. I really like the fact that you can see the roots of this tree here. I'm just going to pick some of the moss off it. The main tree has a nice root base also, so I think in future I want to show some surface roots from around this tree. I'm digging around at the base of the main tree just to see how far down the root base goes. I might be able to expose a little more of it. I think with the next repotting we'll raise that main tree up a bit. Get some exposed roots on it. Yeah, there's some fine feeder roots at the surface here, so that's as far down as I'll go for now. I want to remove all the moss from around the base of the trees so it doesn't degrade my bark at the base or make my bark rot away. I want to have 
the same color bark at the base as I do at the top of the tree. That's all the work I'll be doing on the landscape today, so I'll put the elephants back in position. The elephants are back in place, and I'd like to thank Angel again for making this awesome seed tray planter. So now it's time for today's update. Today's update is my Austrian pine. This tree's changed a lot in the last four years since I started the channel. If you go to the playlist tab on the channel homepage, you can find the Austrian pine playlist and go through the videos and see the progression over the last four years. The trunk is starting to get thicker and more mature looking. The branches are getting denser. So it's coming along nicely as a bonsai. There's a shot of the base of the tree and you can see the nice surface root spread I'm getting from all that years of pruning the roots in a radial pattern. It's time now for viewers picks. These are pictures sent in by viewers of the channel. So let's have a look. Today's viewer picks are sent in by Tanya. She's a biomedical engineering student. And here's her Schaeffleras. That's all for today. So Nigel Saunders, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.